Okay, most of that rain is off to our east right now, but it's still pretty foggy out there, and it's cloudy. 32 degrees currently over there in Honesdale, and uh, you still got plenty of snow on the ground. But it does, it feels like 32 because there's no wind, but that wind is going to be coming back. It's going to be coming back with a vengeance as we get through the afternoon. Temperatures right now up to 42 out of Oak Airport, 32 Mount Pocono, 41 in Allentown, mid 30s out there in the Susquehanna River Valley. Here we go. We have most of the moisture. It's off to our east. Like I said, we do have a line here. Might even hear a couple of rumbles of thunder with this line going through here. It's a cold front. And once that cold front comes through, we're going to start to see those winds pick up. And that is the real weather story. We are under a high wind warning. And that is until 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon out there in the Susquehanna River Valley, closer to the Poconos. That's going to be up until 6 tomorrow evening. So we got plenty of windy conditions. Not bad right now, but as we get towards later in the afternoon, we're going to be 10 to 20 mile an hour winds. 25, these are sustained winds. 25 mile an hour winds up there in the Poconos. That'll be later this afternoon. Overnight tonight, it'll be 25 to 30. So anything that's outside that could blow around, you better tie it down or bring it in because it is going to stay windy and it's going to be windy as you head off to work too. 35 mile an hour sustained winds up in the Poconos. Now it's going to be for tomorrow. So it's going to be messy. It's going to keep it up like that until tomorrow night and then into Tuesday we will be back to normal. Here's the culprit. It's low pressure system. It's heading up into Canada and this is a warm front that tried to make it through. It didn't get up as high as I thought it was going to. So maybe we won't see that 50 today, but we'll be in the mid to upper 40s. And then once this pushes through, colder air starts to come in. Could even see a couple of snow showers later on today. So there it goes. We've got a couple of showers still left over. Then we could see a couple of snow showers as we get towards the evening hours as colder air comes in. And Monday, we could see a couple of snow showers up there because all that cold air coming in over the Great Lakes. But then high pressure is going to build in. Wednesday, we have another chance of maybe some snow showers up there in the northern tier, but that's about it. Otherwise, everybody stays pretty dry with that high pressure. Next system going to be coming in. It'll be on Friday, and that could be showers to a mix. But for today, up there in that northern tier, you're in, well, the upper 40s, maybe near 50 degrees up there in Rome. You're going to be looking at the showers this morning and maybe a couple of snow showers later this afternoon. Now, let's go take a look at what's happening for the next seven days. For Monday, you're heading off to work. Well, it's going to be cold and it's going to be windy, so just be careful as you're heading out. 34 for a high on Monday. Could see a snow shower up there in the northern tier. Tuesday, it's a lot colder, Brianna. We're going to be looking at 32 degrees with partly sunny skies. Wednesday, chance of a snow shower north with mostly cloudy skies, high of 34. Thursday, we'll dry out a little bit, high of 38, though. And then Friday, we're looking at a shower or a mix with a high of 40. That's going to be a small system. We're going to kind of speed right through. Saturday, there's a bigger system going to be moving in. We're looking at some rain, maybe changing over to some snow as it ends high of 40 degrees. And before the bad weather starts, you could have a leg up on Mother Nature by just downloading the weather app onto your cell phone. So that's, uh, that's about it. Don't forget, in the wind, and it, it's 10 to 2. I made a mistake. Nine to, five, uh, nine to three. It's ten to two. Hold on to the steering wheel. I'm not kidding. It's It'll blow you right off the road. <laughs> so how should we hold the wheel? <laughs> ten to and two. Okay. Ten and two. Because you're not only a meteorologist, you're a driving instructor too. Um, yeah, and you don't drive with one finger. That's don't. how you drive. Right? <laughs> don't drive with one finger. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Well, if you're looking.